Hi, and welcome to task number 11, how to get the ISBN. Before we get started, make sure you have downloaded the how-to number 11 so you can follow along with us. Let's talk about getting the ISBN number for a book. The ISBN, or International Standard Book Number, is a number issued to each book by the publisher and it's embedded in the barcode on the back of a book. In order to sell through bookstores, distributors, wholesalers, and major retailers, each book must have a unique 13-digit ISBN. It is extremely important that each self-published author has his or her own set of ISBNs. ISBNs can only be purchased in blocks of 10, 100, or 10,000. The cost per book goes way down with the more numbers ordered. Remember, if your author is self-publishing, they are the publisher. The author is also the publishing company putting this book on the shelf. You may also be wondering why you need to buy blocks of ISBN numbers. Surely you just need the one number for the one book. Well, remember, each edition of this book will need its own ISBN number. Let's suppose that your author prints a hard copy, a paperback, and an ebook. And in a year, they write a second edition of the book with four new chapters, also released in paperback, and as another ebook. Right there, you have used up five ISBN numbers just for the one book. You can see how easy it is to go through blocks of numbers. Now, R.R. Bowker is the company that has the responsibility for keeping the ISBN system worldwide. It is also the official U.S. agency responsible for assigning ISBNs. The system they designed makes it easier for everyone to order books by that specific unique number so there is no confusion between titles or editions. Many countries have their own ISBN agencies responsible for allocating ISBN blocks for books published in that country. To find the ISBN agency in any country, just do a Google search. Put in ISBN agency and the name of the country and hit search. While it costs to buy an ISBN block in the United States, ISBN blocks are free to publishers in many other countries, including Canada and India. Each of the 13 digits of the ISBN has a meaning to help bookstores and other retailers with inventory and other matters. All 13 numbers are really important. If the author is changing the book's price or reprinting the book, you can keep using the same ISBN for that book. But there are times when the author must assign a new ISBN to the book. For instance, if the book is coming out in a new edition because it has had substantial changes, you're going to need to give it a new ISBN number. If the book's title has changed, you need a new ISBN number. And any time you create a new product from that book, say an ebook, that product must carry its own unique ISBN. When the publisher is assigned a block of numbers, the numbers are sent as what is called an ISBN logbook. It's usually sent by email. Have a look at the screen above for a sample ISBN logbook. When the ISBNs are allocated by the publisher for a specific book, the publisher just types in the title next to the corresponding number. You can see that this publisher has only two ISBNs left not assigned for this block of 10 ISBNs. So on the screen, you're going to see the website ISBN.org. When you go to get an ISBN number, you'll want to go to this website and click on the English language forms right under Order ISBNs in bold in the middle of the screen. That will take you to the application page for the ISBN publisher prefix. The publisher prefix is three digits. Now it used to be the first three digits when we had ten digit ISBNs, but now it's the second three digits. That will take you to the application page for the ISBN publisher prefix. The publisher prefix is three digits. Now it used to be the first three digits when we had ten digit ISBNs, but now it's the second three digits. From this page, you will click on the link in the middle that says continue your application process on our secure server. The application process is pretty straightforward. What you'll need after you start is the publisher name, contact and shipping information, how many ISBNs you want to buy, whether it's 10, 100, or 10,000. You will need a credit card as well. They will also ask you about the type of products you produce. Are they books, videos, software, etc.? And they want to know a little bit about the subject. Is it for children's? Is it legal or medical? 
If you get stuck, there's also a separate page that gives you hints if you don't know what they're asking for. Now something important to note, it will ask you as you finish the process if you want to order barcodes as well. Say no. It's better to get them elsewhere and we'll show you that in a minute. Besides sending the ISBN logbook with your block of numbers via email, they will send you a username and password and a link to an online ISBN logbook where you can enter the titles of the books and the format online. It is useful to put the information in the online logbook because it is used to get the books into Books in Print. That's an online service used by librarians to find books by topic to order them for their libraries. The ISBN online logbook is handy and it's free for the first year, but it's $25 a year to maintain it after that. So you may want to download it and just keep it unless you do a lot of books. Now here's a special note to Canadian publishers and authors. The Canadian system for ISBNs is free to publishers. You will only need to do this if you are publishing a book in Canada. It's called the CISS, the Canadian ISBN Service System, and it's pronounced KISS. If your author is planning on publishing in Canada, you will need to get a Canadian ISBN number. Now I wanted to talk to you a minute about 10-digit ISBN numbers and 13-digit ISBN numbers. Now until a few years ago, all ISBN numbers had 10 digits. Sometimes you'll run into an author who will still have a block of ISBN numbers that are 10 digits. The 10-digit ISBN numbers should be converted into the new 13-digit ISBN numbers, since this is the standard for all new books now. And it's easy to make this conversion online. All you do is go to www.isbn dot org forward slash convert pub dot ASP and of course you can find that link on the VAA headquarters online just follow the instructions on the website you input the old number and it'll give you a new 13 digit number you can use and that's it for task number 11 getting an ISBN number we'll see you all soon